Hey there guys, welcome to Yenna Beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your personal little beauty pig. And today we're going to do, you got it, another mask video. So if you caught me in my last video, we did the Yester Coconut Coffee Energizing Face Mask. It was a peel off mask. And um, that one worked out quite well for me, surprisingly. Now, um, I did experience a lot of tingling in that one and I have heard some feedback from some people that that one is a terrible mask for people with sensitive skin and maybe just in general. But that's the thing, guys. When I'm talking to you guys about this mask, I'm not a chemist. Um, there are some ingredients that I do know. Um, I'm really just sort of talking to you guys about how it's affecting me and my skin. Uh, I do suffer from eczema. I do have dry, dehydrated uh, skin, very dry actually, and I generally will break out with a rash uh, pretty quickly after I've put something on, which I did feel tingling in that last video. So I will suggest that if you haven't watched my last video and you are going to, or even if you have watched my last video, that if you do have that mask in your uh, person or you do plan on getting it, do a patch test, just like this mask that I'm going to talk to you today, guys. Always do a patch test if you have really tricky skin. Um, but let's get into today's video. We are going to do a patchology mask. This is a mood mask and this is the glow one. So I picked up three of these. If you guys have seen in my past videos, I've already done the, um, the hydrating one, which will be up in my cart here somewhere if you want to go and watch that if you haven't already. And then the other one I got was sort of for like troubled skin, oily um, sort of skin, which I wasn't going to use myself because I do not have oily skin and I was going to pass that one on to my son. Um, but this one looks really, really interesting, guys. So this is the Mood Mask, Just Let It Glow. And I am excited about this one uh, as well because, as I said, I've recently been sick and I feel like my skin has just been missing something. I haven't been moisturising the way that I should be or the way that I usually do. I haven't been looking after myself as much as I really should. But if you're interested in finding out what I think of this mask, let's get on with the video. Alright, welcome back guys. Alright, if you notice any cuts on my hands, I do apologise. I had an accident in the kitchen, but I am all good and everything is sanitised. My hands are clean, so is my face. And um, yeah, let's just have a little bit of chat about this mask. It says that it has pear fruit, um, sea berry extract and niacinamide. And it mentions that it's a healthy glow sheet mask. Now, I do know that two of the key ingredients in this is niacinamide, but also hyaluronic acid. So if you have um, adverse reactions to any of those ingredients, then I'd say steer clear. But for the most part, those ingredients are pretty good ingredients, especially in my books. Um, let's see what it says in the back. It says, lack of sleep, poor diet, stress, and general crappiness starting to show on your face. Yeah. <laughs> Formulated with just the right stuff you need to get your glow on. Pear fruit helps get your moisture in balance. Sea berry extract contains tons of antioxidants and legendary powdered uh the army of i don't know what that is jen his car wow okay and niacinamide helps to even out your complexion and makes light shoot out of your pores okay not literally but your skin will be pretty <laughs> luminous which is almost as good right ah <sighs> you know that fancy photo filter with the sparkles that's your skin now well i hope so so let's get into this bad boy what do we need to do we need to unfold the mask pop it on our face wiggle it around until we get the best fit leave it on for 10 minutes or longer if we want remove the mask massage extra serum into the skin no need to rinse off you know what this is the kind of mask that i like i do not like to put a mask on and then have to scrub it off um i mean obviously that calls for it with a mud mask or something like that whatever but these are the types of masks that i enjoy so let's get on with this i might have to move my wayward hair out of my face please excuse it's just it's a lot to deal with. I, I still haven't found a way to deal with this. I am dealing with some eczema at the moment. However, it is getting much better. I've got to say that last mask that I did use really helped with it a little bit. So um, I'm not mad. I'm actually quite shocked. Uh, but let's get into this one. All right, first things first, let's have a smell. All right, it smells fruity. I'm not mad at that. While I don't generally like to have scents in my masks, this one's not obnoxious. It doesn't smell so far, at least, like it's got full of nasty chemicals. And it does feel very moist. Feels like there's quite a lot of um, liquid in there still. So let's get this guy open. All right. Feels nice. Whoop. Just 
having a little bit of difficulty there, as you do. It looks a little small. I'm not mad at that because I don't really like oversized masks. And it does have one of those nose flaps. So let's just get this open before I put it on. Alright, I might have to fix it while I've got it partially on. Otherwise it's going to keep sticking to itself. Alright. Oh no. Alright, here we go. I'm just going to look in my little mirror. It feels like, or it looks like it's got a little bit of a pink tinge to it, this mask, and I think that might be some of the ingredients. I'm just going to unfold that. All right, let's get this on. Oh, it feels nice already, but that's just because it's cooling. Mm. Lay that little flap down. And guys, I always get this in my hair. There is almost no avoiding it. I do want to say, if you're hearing noises in the background, I apologise. My four-year-old son is at home today. Alright, that's about as good as we're going to get it. Now, it does have this little nose flap here that you can curl down, but I don't like to do that. I just like to put a little bit of that excess um, serum on my nose. So, mm, you do you, but it is there. I'm just not going to use it like that. Alright, now... It's not terrible quality, the um, cloth itself, however, I am already experiencing slipping down of the, um, the little flap here, of the lip flap, which I never like, and I always forget to bring my scissors and cut that bit off, but whatever, that's just a me thing. Um, we are going to leave this on for 10 minutes, and I'm going to come back and take it off and let you guys know how I feel about this mask. But right now, it smells good, it feels good. I don't see any sort of reddening happening just yet, but it is early days. All right, I'll talk to you soon. All right, guys, it has been 10 minutes and it is feeling wonderful. Um, I haven't had any burning, any tingling uh, like the last mask that I have. I can't see any reddening on my face under the mask. That doesn't mean to say that there isn't any, but fingers crossed um, because I haven't felt anything bad. But um, yeah, I mean, this is pretty much your typical mask. Um, I would not recommend sort of like doing lots of physical activity or doing lots of talking to be honest with you because this little flap, much like normal masks, falls down all the time. That's why I really like hydrogel masks and I wish a lot of companies will actually start doing like that clear hydrogel, kind of like the eye patches. I love those. But anyway, I digress. This isn't a horrible mask. Um, much like most sheet masks, it is going to move on your face. It's not perfect. Um, but Let's have a little look and see what we are dealing with. Comes off very easily. Lots of product still on the face. And mind you, there is a ton of product still left in the sachet. I almost want to keep that and like use it later and put it on my face just before I go to bed. My skin is looking pretty darn good. I haven't had any reactions, which is definitely a plus. And I am just going to gently pat this into my skin. As I said, there is a lot of product. Um, I might actually bring a little bit down my neck. It feels great, guys. And that scent that's in it is not too aggressive either. Um, in the ingredients list, it does list that perfume or perfume is the last ingredient that is on there. I don't know if there was anything um, else, like anything else scented in there other than the, um, the fruit extracts, uh, which the fruit extracts are pretty high. It's like one of the top 10 uh, ingredients and a lot of these ingredients in here guys I got to admit I don't even know what they are um, but it is feeling amazing uh, I will definitely leave a comment um, pinned or on the screen probably up here to let you know what it was like hours later um, but right now it feels amazing I have to admit I probably like this one just a little bit more than the hydro uh, not the hydrogel, the, the hydrating one from Patchology that I just tried. Um, and that, look, that actually might be because of the fruit extract. There was something a little bit more, what's the word, luxurious about this one, sort of like pamper. Um, and as I said, I don't typically like to have scents in my skincare, but um, the fact that I haven't had a reaction to this one, um, I'm, I'm not mad, you know, so, yeah. Anyway, my feels on this mask is it's definitely, definitely a goer. I know it's cheap, it's $7. 
Um, I mean, yeah, okay. I'd love it if it was like four or five, but come on. <laughs> it, it looks like it's doing some good things to my skin. It smells great. It's pretty easy to use. Um, yeah, there's not much else that I can say. Would I buy it again? Yeah, I definitely would. Um, I am anxious to find out if it does uh, plump my skin even more with that hyaluronic acid. Um, we'll see how we go a little bit later. And um, hmm, I really am enjoying this one. So if you've been wondering about these masks so far, both of them, the glow mask that I just did now and the... Um, the hydrating mask, which is in a blue sachet, if I can recall, are both fantastic. And I would definitely recommend you pick some up. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you're new to my channel and you want to subscribe, don't forget to check the bell. You can always unsubscribe later if you don't like any of my content. I am predominantly on here. Uh, or if you'd like, you can always hit me a line on my Instagram page. Um, I'm generally, I will comment as soon as I see it. And... Uh, yeah, if you like the video, feel free, give me a thumbs up. And um, I'm looking forward to doing some more mask videos. I've actually purchased some, um, and a brand that I haven't tried, some eye gels, and I'm really excited about that. And I've got quite a few more face masks that I want to play around with. But I really do want to explore the um, hydrogel face masks. So um, I think there's a brand called Dr. Jart, I think. I haven't explored them yet, but I am interested in some of their masks because I do believe that they do sell a hydrogel mask, an all-over hydrogel mask, and that's what I'm sort of looking for at the moment. And, um, yeah, if you know any masks that are hydrating, uh, good for sensitive skin or anything like that, you want to share with me, hit me a line down below. I'll always respond to your comments as soon as I see them. And um, I hope to catch you in my next video, guys. Bye.